Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1,536th installment of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Good evening, traders. This 1,536th video is coming to you on a Tuesday night for trading Wednesday. That would be Rocktober 26th, 2016. Rocktober, you get that, right? All right, traders, futures trading, as we know, is extremely risky, causes substantial financial loss. It's certainly not suitable for all traders. If you do not have risk capital to lose, you should stay far away from this game. Know that you must use stops. You must place your stops first. Very risky trading futures. For you traders out there that know the risks, let's get moving. First off, here we are, the NASDAQ daily bar chart. This very same chart I gave us a buy signal to for yesterday. Why? Because, well, for trading today, I should say. For trading on Tuesday, Monday night into Tuesday, we offered a buy signal from Omni. Why? Because we had just broken out of what we thought was a bear flag that was being negated. The Omni turned bullish. And it looked like it was going to pull the other markets up through the highs. Why else would I think that? Because right here is previous contract highs. It's never traded higher than this spot that you see right here. It's never been higher than that. The market went higher than that. Then we had a buy signal. It did go higher. It went a little higher. And then it turned around and failed miserably. So the bear flag theory stays the same, only it grows. And we stay inside of that flag. And this chart's going to get interesting. So instead of getting through contract highs, we were wrong about getting long NASDAQ, but believe it or not, us Omni Omniacs never bought NASDAQ on Tuesday because our, our buy entry was right here towards the low of the day, and we canceled the buy orders before they ever got hit because it got too late in the day. So even though I gave a buy recommendation, we actually never ended up getting long because it didn't get cheap enough to fill our buy orders. We were blessed at least in the NASDAQ on Tuesday because we didn't get filled, but it failed miserably, and that's the point here. Look at the miserable failure. So that's your NASDAQ, but this ride is going to get interesting for trading on Wednesday. Now that we have this horrible failure, could not stay above contract highs, turns this back into the bear flag scenario. Let's look at a couple of other charts. And let's move this into focus. Traders, this is your Dow Jones Industrial Average Daily Bar Chart. I have been showing you this chart day after day, and I have kept this either neutral or short for the better part of this whole move and I've been pointing out small breathers as they, as they materialize. This one worked. Then I showed you this one. Well, now a bigger breather. We have to call this because why? You had the failure today in the NASDAQ. And everything else dropped with it. So I'm going to give you two different looks at this very same chart. Dow Jones Industrial Average Daily Bar. Here's your first look. Obviously, when it gets up here, you've got a problem, right? Problem first time. Problem really second time, but it didn't hit the blue line. Problem, problem again. So we know that this blue line, this channel is absolutely working. This is likely a bigger breather because it's the third time hitting there. And it looks like it's a bit tired here. We're looking at all the other markets, which we will see. So you've got the Dow Jones Industrial Average looking ugly. And now the NASDAQ, as I just showed you in the previous chart with the failure. Let's move along to another chart. Same chart, Dow Jones Industrial Average, but now let's look at this again. You've seen this chart before. Flags are still dominating. First, you had the big flag here. Then you broke down under Otapma, and if you ask me, this is nothing more than a flagpole. These lines, these days dropping quickly, one, two, three, four. That's your flagpole, in my opinion. That's how you find flags. And then here is your flag, and look where we are now in another bear flag and failing right at the Otapma, right here. Getting failures right here. That's interesting, isn't it? So now the bear flag scenario becomes very active once again. 
as we just hit the top of the bear flag and the OTATMA, the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average, and it failed and dropped. Interesting, right? So the bearish scenario comes right back. Now, traders, I was only bullish for one day, this day here, and I got attacked from more lunatics on the internet. They were bashing my videos. I cannot tell you the ugliness because I was off for a day. I mean, you guys are just crazy. <laughs> Stick around. I'll teach you how to read charts, I promise you. So here's what we've got going next, right? The OTAPMA, failure at OTAPMA right here. Failure again here and at the top of the flag. Failure at both top of the flag and Otapma again. Then on Tuesday we drop. Looks like we are going to drop further. And if we get under the flag, we'll give some flag projections. So not looking good for the bulls. In fact, looking much better for the bears in your Dow Jones Industrial Average and in your NASDAQ. Let's go look at another one of our favorites. The Russell 2000 daily bar you've seen this chart video after video the bear flag plus otapma and look where we are now we went up and challenged the top of the bear flag turned around dumped now we are underneath the otapma the omni trading academy's proprietary moving average and if this bear flag starts to pan out we can do projections as of tomorrow on how far down it should go so very interesting happenings in our indices and now one more time, we have to go back to this chart. I want to turn this one into gold now. Let's pay attention to the gold. Another chart or another trade that you lunatics were bashing me on today. But you traders, let me tell you right now, some of you that spend so much time as trolls on the internet couldn't possibly be spending the time properly because you should be studying charts. I was the guy that called the bottom in gold. Remember when everyone else was bearish? the cup and handle does everyone remember that crazy call and the way we went since then i've been calling gold very smartly only getting caught every now and then in a couple of days so for you fools out there that spend your time incorrectly on the internet come join me at my site and let me teach you how this game works so here is why i called for a short in the gold yesterday because the gold is in an absolute bear flag and it as of yesterday, delete the bar was below the 200 ball moving average. So here we are as of yesterday. We're below the 200 ball moving average. We are absolutely inside of a bear flag. Very easy to spot. We broke down through this really, really strong channel that we had working for months on end and turned into a bear flag. And I called for a short near the 200 ball moving average with the Omni pointing for the short side. And you loons that think I don't know how to read a chart, you think I made a bad call here? <laughs> if you wouldn't have called a short here, you know nothing about analysis. So once again, join me in my free trading room. Allow me to show you how this works. I'm at livewithoscar.com. It is an olive branch, guys, who were yelling at me all day today on the internet. I'm not looking to fight with you. Come on out and see what happens. So anyway, so I called for a short in gold. The market didn't go down, it went up today, but it only went towards the top of the flag. This is all that happened. From this red bar to this green bar, big deal, we're still in the flag. Furthermore, for you cats that really don't know how to read charts, look at the gold on a weekly. Let me educate you here. Look at the gold on a weekly. First of all, what happened when we got below the 200 ball moving average on your gold weekly? Disaster took place all the way until the cup and handle bottom on the on the weekly now let's just move out and look at what we're doing here we are still below the 200 ball moving average right gold bear flag this blue flag is a bear flag and it is on the gold weekly chart it is below the 200 ball moving average we are basically at the top of that flag if there are any of you out there that think I was incorrect for calling a short in gold, I kid you not, you need to understand how these things work. I didn't create flags, they're created by the masters. What I am very good at is knowing how to use them. I mastered the art of the flags that the masters have created. So that I can tell you for sure. I know how to use the flags. I teach you traders all the time how to use them. At the same time, if they don't pan out, you can't blame Oscar. I'm calling what I see, which is opposite of what most of you clowns do. You call what you think. 
You make these crazy predictions. I call only what I see. A bear flag below the 200 bar moving average, and you broke through this really strong channel on the weekly, just like you did on the, on the daily, to create the bear flag. If you don't think short until you get back above this, you don't know how this game plays out. Traders, that's what I wanted to show you. Please come on down to livewithoscar.com. Come join me in my free trading room. And remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things I can do to help you with keeping those emotions at bay is to have you say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening. And you know what that is. Stop so in emotions are our rock and roll traders. I will see you all at live with Oscar.com.